be saying I am Esther, your host. And what the kids be saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. Out here in these streets, we try our best to keep you hip and keep up to date with the terms that the kids are saying because genuinely it's hilarious. When I first started growing my Instagram account, the biggest thing that people would react to or respond to was when I told a funny story. Sometimes while telling a funny story, I had to explain one of the words that the kids said. And till this day, the stories that I got the most feedback on are when I explained what waves and edges are. This season one finale is dedicated to every teacher, every person who's added the words waves and edges into their vernacular. This video is for you and for every time you've tried to explain it to a friend. With this video, I got you. First up, let's live life on the edge. Edges and waves are mostly terms that are unique to black culture. Black girls refer to their baby hairs as edges and they are our most prized possession. At least we talk about them as if they are. We protect our edges, we lay our edges, and we slay our edges, okay? When something really good happens, we'll say something like, just take all my edges, sis. Or we'll say something like, edges snatched. Not an edge left in the room. We take our edges very seriously. For a lot of us, laying our edges is the final touch on our look for the day. All you need is some edge control or some gel and a toothbrush. Yes, I said toothbrush because black people are resourceful. So you know my pop culture consultants had to come through with a bomb edge tutorial, so I present to you my step team captains. Edges undone. Ah, uh, before. <laughs> Okay. The toothbrush is, is essential. It's key. It's key. It's key. It's key. It's key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Then we want to. Who said swoop? Swoop. Just do it, Nike. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's do it, Nike. No. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all something while I'm doing this, okay? Uh -huh. You gotta let the eco gel. <laughs> congeal, congeal. You gotta let it congeal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A little thick. Mm -hmm. The air black girls like to be thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which um, which ego study do you use? I use okay. I use the argan oil and the I like the argan oil one. <laughs> so this is got to be glue, right? Well, I'm not showing this. This is the, the embarrassing. Where did you get it from, though? It's covered in chocolate. <laughs> oh, yes. If you want to lay your wigs, if you want to lay your edges, it's not moving. You are a whole new woman. Oh my goodness. You think I could go get a boyfriend tonight? <laughs> With these edges? With these edges? I'll snatch them up. Hey. <laughs> snatch them up with your edges. All right, snatch. there you go. You know oh, you know the vibe. I've had a few people over the years tell me that when they complimented a student's edges, it was the first time that they were able to connect with that student. And that makes me so happy. A few years back, there was this picture that went viral of this teacher that let his students lay his edges. And it is hilarious and perfection because it's not appropriating culture but allowing the owner of the culture to share it with you on their terms racial harmony at its finest next up grab your bathing suits because we're going swimming edges are to black girls as waves are to black boys have you ever seen a little black boy with his brush attached to his hand as if it's a part of his body He's brushing like there's no tomorrow. Or they come to school and they refuse to take off their do-rag. Listen, little homie is just trying to swim. <laughs> Getting your waves to come in, doing a whole reveal under the do-rag is like a rite of passage for a young black man. So much so that we call this moment a wave check. Wave check, 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 wave check. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and take some German mean because I know you see it. While you may be avoiding moisture in your hair, the tighter your hair texture, the more it actually thrives on moisture. So that's where the do-rag comes in. It helps keep the moisture and lock it in for optimal swim conditions. Any kind of swim or ocean terminology is appropriate when talking about waves. So you can be like, hey, yo, little homie, I see you swimming out here. Oh, shoot, I see you captain of the swim team making us seasick out here. It's very punny. Well, that wraps it up for season one of What the Kids Be Saying. 
compliment somebody's waves or somebody's edges this week, please. And in the comments, drop some terms that you would like me to expound upon in season two. Big shout out to Grammar and Glitter for this dope crown. Hey, y'all see me? With the what the kids be saying, glitter crown? I don't even know. Let me, let me get in there, okay? <laughs> Thank you ladies for sending that over to me. It was the perfect addition for my season finale. And as always, say it with me. Stay hip friends.